Hey guys, this is Backlog Gaming. Today I'm going to be covering Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F. Now this is going to be a spoiler free video. I will be creating a spoiler uh, video tomorrow and that will be on my channel. Um, so far I'm just going to do the quick response because it's late at night. I need to get to bed. I got to work tomorrow. So I'm going to start out this video essentially going in. There was some aspects that I was personally looking for. One, I was not a big fan of, of, of story. I was not um, looking for a lot of story or plot set up. I mainly was going to this um, movie to see Goku fight Frieza. That's essentially the only thing I really wanted to see. Now, this movie is amazing, guys, for, for that alone. The only downside would be the story. And then the power-ups weren't as huge as I would liked, but I understand they had to keep them short because they're trying to basically make the movie as much action as they can. Unfortunately, they want to show more fighting than more power-ups. So the, what the, the film did right, um, essentially its comedy level was off the chart. Huge comedy in this, in this movie. Um, you saw throwbacks to the original series. You saw just funny in general. You just saw saw great jokes. You saw great action comedy in the art style. Um, so they nailed that aspect. Another aspect that they absolutely nailed was the action. The action mostly focuses on hand-to-hand -hand combat with some occasional huge energy blast, which is perfectly fine. It kind of brings a, a new, new uh, perspective of Dragon Ball Z and what they originally used to do back in the 80s and what they're doing now. Now, essentially, the, you kind of get some interesting camera angles in the action scenes to where they're kind of using a little bit of CGI mixed with animation that you can tell. Essentially, it does not look cheap at all. It does look really, really well done. Um, you do see some of it in there, but you also have your epic stare downs in between to kind of break up the CGI. It's not full CGI. It's only partial. And again, it doesn't really affect the overall film that much at all. So another aspect that they nailed in this, um, is subtle hints. Now, again, there's subtle hints to the series itself of Dragon Ball Z. There's subtle hints to, uh, Bruce Lee in this movie that you can see if you are familiar with his his films um, tons and tons of uh, under the table jokes that the normal person may not have understood but if you were a Dragon Ball Z fan or from there if you've watched the Frieza saga alone that you would understand these jokes that they're saying and how they are acting now Essentially, again, if you're going to this for a story-rich film, it's not a story-rich film. Its plot is very, very weak. Essentially, the plot just sets up for the battle. Um, it's, you know, it's not there to tell a long, epic tale. It's there to get the fight to where it needs to go and start the fight and the ending. That's pretty much what you're looking at for um, the story depth. It's... Again, it's not there. The story is just not there. But you have power-ups. You have fighting scenes. Plenty of fighting scenes and comedy to make it up and make it well worth your time, well worth your money. Again, I want to thank uh, Marcus Theaters for being able to host this event for me for where I live. If it's not in a theater near you, that's fine. They're probably going to be releasing it on Blu-ray and DVD, just as they did with Battle of the Gods. Um, so you should be able to pick it up at some point in time or highly look forward to it. If you could pick it up on um, digitally on, uh, on any service, Mo I think I got battle of gods on voodoo. So I'm assuming they're going to have the same deal to where you can pick this up as a digital copy. If you want it on Blu-ray and you can't get it where you live now, if I had to rank this against last year's, um, showing of battle of gods. This is better. It ramped up faster, it got to the action quicker, and you had more action. It's more of what you wanted to see. You kind of get a taste of the action art style in the previous movie. This just, all the blemishes are removed. It just polishes it 100% in, in this essential um, film. So, he, it's going to be really hard. He really outdid himself on this film, guys. Uh, again, I highly recommend you go see it. 
if you can't get again if you can't get to it in a theater near you just see at some point if you're a dragon ball z fan or you're a mild dragon ball z fan you will definitely want to check this um out Uh, this movie is it it hit me really good i mean you got the throwbacks from the series you got the comedy elements you got the action and elements they nailed every aspect of it and everybody's character is played perfectly in this um anime like extremely perfect that it's going to be hard to outdo it. Nobody's out of character. Nobody's acting, you know, a fool. It's all what he pictured, all what he envisioned. Um, and from there, he did an amazing job. Now, this is only in theaters from what I've seen for one week. So if you're watching this video and it's a couple weeks old, sorry you missed out. But really highly recommend this to anybody. Um, I enjoy the movie 100%. Um everything I was expecting going into it. So again, guys, this was the spoiler free section of, um, the video. I will be doing my spoiler one tomorrow. Um, from there, if you guys want to comment down below, please do not do any spoilers. Be respectful of others that have not seen it, that this is a spoiler free. Um, if you want to ask for some people's opinions that are spoiler free, post those down below of what you thought. Maybe you're looking for something different. I wasn't. So I was 100% satisfied what they delivered and how they delivered that content that I'm not complaining at all. I'm recommending. I find that is better than Battle of Gods. I find that it's going to be a hard one for him to top. Very, very hard. If he makes another one, it's going to be hard. If Dragon Ball Super Falls, which is the new series coming out of that falls, and eh, this type of style, this type of action, this type of story elements and comedy, no problem that that's going to do very, very well for me too. As long as it doesn't go on this whole story rich of where they've never been story rich. So, um, unfortunately that's just something I'm not 100% interested in. You know, I'm more interested in the action. That's what we're all here for. So throwbacks to your childhood. Again, if you guys want to comment down below, Please, if you are going to post a spoiler, flag it. Be respectful again. Um, if I'm seeing a lot of complaints that something was a flag, I will remove that comment. Um, so from there, um, if you guys like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to check out other things on my channel, I do gaming and anime. So feel free to check those out. Um, and from there, I'll see you guys next time.